you know, Jake, after being a big, nasty, vicious, antagonistic heel, now you're in a new spot, kind of fighting from underneath against Humperdinck and his crew. Yeah. Um, it's you, called baby face. Yeah. 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 How did you feel about being a, uh, like an underdog finally here in, in mid South? It was all right. It was fun to do, you know, uh, of course, the money being better would be, he's always better. <laughs> For sure. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. I had fun working with Humper Dink, man. Humpy was special. We had, we had a lot of history, did a lot of crazy things when we were younger, you know, doing cocaine on the beach and uh, watching the sun go down. I believe that was in uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Me and him and Jimmy, uh, no, not Jimmy Hart, Gary Hart. Okay. The three of us laying in the water. Is a is ways went out when we were there. <laughs> Hoo ha! Need I say any more? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a, a blast. And you know, oh, you- it was. The beer was flowing. So was the powder. And, Good times, yeah. man. Carefree. And, uh, you know, it's actually this kind of brings me to a fan question. I was going to save it for the end, but you brought up Humperdinck. So uh, we might as well talk about it now. Uh, mm-hmm. Our old pal Peter D wrote in and he asked this. Now, look, I've never heard about any of this before, so uh, this will be fresh for me. Peter says it's reported that Sir Oliver Humperdinck was gay. Was it general knowledge at the time, and did it cause any issues for him? So, Jake, obviously things have changed for the better in society over the years, but this was a different day and age. What do you recall about this? I don't think he was gay. Oh, no? I think he was trisexual. Okay. He'd try anything. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that works. That's a good answer. (laughs) Trisexual. Well, I just want to say I don't know. And, and the second thing I want to say, more importantly, is I mean, I don't give a fuck. Right. What does it matter? <clears throat> you know, if you can't look uh, behind, beyond people's uh, outer shell, then you're not having fun anyway. You're not enjoying people. Right. I know that those, you know, back in those days, I mean, nowadays it's, I mean, who, who cares? But back in those yeah. days, it, it was certainly not commonplace, especially like in locker no. rooms and a bunch of homophobic dudes. So yeah. yeah, that's why, that's why that question stuck out. I was like, man, I, I feel like it would be rough being in Bill Watts territory as a homosexual man. Uh, he always had girls chasing him. All right. So he did. Okay. Yeah. 